Whether you can carry a tune or not, it's been proven that singing can have many of the same health benefits as exercise. And singing in a group or choir can even increase those positive effects on the body. So it's no wonder that so many Minnesota towns have choral groups. But which one makes the sweetest music? Kate Raddatz introduces us to the Angelica Cantani Youth Choir in Bloomington. Western choral music can be dated back almost to the beginnings of the church. The primitive one-part Latin text used for prayer and masses was strictly reserved for those in the clergy. As choral music became more complex, adding additional parts and harmonies, churches continued their exclusionary ways by not allowing females to take part, using boys to sing the higher octaves. Fast forward a few hundred years, and you'll find groups like the Angelica Cantanti Youth Choir. where everyone has a voice. We have kids that come from all over the Twin Cities. It, it's such a wonderful experience. They learn, they grow. Today, all five choirs made up of 270 youths from second graders to high school seniors are rehearsing together for their upcoming winter concert. One, two, and three, and go. This is the Angelica Cantanti Youth Choir's 37th year bringing choral music to the masses. In 1980, there was just one choir, and since then, thousands of kids from all over have participated and performed in some rather prestigious venues. Yet in all this time, the group's main purpose has never wavered. To enhance the quality of life of all of the, the kids that participate in our choirs, um, through music, through we teach them leadership skills and independence, and it really it brings out a lifelong love of music. Their musical selections are difficult. Timing and precision are paramount. We have four really top-notch professional directors. Uh, that expect a lot, even from our second graders and third graders. They want them to sound the best that they can. Okay, ready? That was so scary. Mix in a little bit of fun and all is well. Although we saw the choir practicing and performing in a church, we should be clear this is not a faith-based group, and they welcome any young person with a desire to sing. Make sure to tune in next week. We'll visit what viewers voted the best live nativity scene in Minnesota.